Welcome on back here to Up North at 4. Mick Fiocchi, Katie Ostrike joining me now on set. I appreciate you guys coming on to, to chat with me because there's a really cool event coming up in, uh, in town here that's going to be giving back money to some very important uh, nonprofits, if you will. Mick, can you tell us a little bit about what's going to be coming up here? Uh, well, it's, it's a, a joyful song, ecumenical music event. Uh, we're very grateful to the... Uh, the churches that came together to sponsor this, so I want to make sure I get all of them. St. Augustine Episcopal, uh, Emmanuel Lutheran, Calvary Baptist, First United Methodist, and uh, it's going to be hosted at the Nativity of Our Lord uh, Catholic Church. And they mm -hmm. came together uh, and formed a committee, and they voted to have our three nonprofit organizations be the beneficiaries, uh, beneficiaries of the event, which is coming up on Sunday, October 9th. And uh, we're, we're really just tickled. Uh, one of the things that I love uh, about it is I've maybe met half the people on this mm -hmm. committee. So you're already, you're already forming community just by having the event. Right, right. And then uh, all kinds of musical groups have offered their services. Uh, nobody is being paid. It's all, uh, uh, the whole event is on a free will offering basis. And we're gonna have a, a chili supper. Of course, of course, if it's a church event, <laughs> You have to have a supper at the end. Uh, of course. And so uh, course. Uh, there's going to be a chili and cornbread supper, and everything is donated, and uh, all of the free will offerings mm -hmm. are going to go to the, uh, the three nonprofits. I represent NAMI Northern Lakes. Mm -hmm. uh, we are the local chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness, and uh, we're thrilled to uh, be a part of it in this uh, inaugural year. This, this event grew out of an event uh, that was sponsored by a different church uh, over recent years. And uh, uh, they're hoping this year with the committee mm -hmm. to kind of grow the event. Absolutely. And, and Katie, you're joining us. You're one of uh, a member of one of the uh, groups that is going to be receiving some money from this event with the Tri-County Council. Can you tell us just a little bit about some of the work that you guys are doing there and, and what you guys are doing for the community? Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Katie, and I'm the Domestic Violence Program Coordinator over there. Um, we <coughs> serve three counties, so Vilas, Forest, and Oneida County. And we serve victims of domestic violence and sexual assault, mm -hmm. as well as their families, too. Um, so we do kind of a bunch of different things for victims. Um, we can do like court navigation, and that really looks like helping somebody to kind of navigate through those legal systems. Mm -hmm. um, seeing accompaniment, a sexual assault nursing exam, we can be there to support them. We do have a safe shelter here in Oneida County, and that operates 24 seven, so we really wanna let people know that. Um, a survivor is gonna be mm -hmm. knowing when they can leave and when it's safest for them to leave, and if it's three o'clock in the morning, they can always give us a call. Yeah, and I, you know, I think NAMI, obviously, the Tri-County Council, and then the Boys and Girls Club will also yeah. be receiving money as well. I think people, these are great causes, and I don't think anybody would, would argue against that. And I think, uh, I don't know if people realize, like, how much... Like, you know, like you need resources for these groups to, to function, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm sure it's one of those things where, Mick, you can probably speak to this, where just a little bit can go a very long way. You bet. I mean, uh, uh, any of the any of the three of us are. are I think I, I always think of the Boys and Girls Club as the uh, the newest nonprofit mm -hmm. organization in the Rhinelander area, and uh, and so they're all community organizations supported by the the community at large. Mm -hmm. And so when you've got a group like this group of people that came together to have this event, and then they're recognizing our organizations as the the, the ones they wanted to. It's just very. Uh, very gratifying yeah. to be a part of something that so many people support and uh, and what they're saying is that you know the the mission mission of NAMI is to serve people with mental illnesses and their families well mm -hmm. that's you know 20 percent of everybody seeks treatment for mental illness every year so it's a lot of people that that um, uh, will benefit from the donations that come in and uh, I know Boys and Girls Club is a brand new organization, but something that was badly needed in our community. And uh, uh, we're grateful to have them here. And so uh, uh, it, one of the other things that I thought about, actually when I was driving down here, uh, churches are places of worship, mm -hmm. right? But first and foremost, but they're also community organizations. And when you have a group of these organizations getting together to try to figure out how to support your mission, um, it's just, it is just deeply gratifying. And, Absolutely. Uh, and to be associated with the Boys and Girls Clubs and, and the uh, Tri-County Council is, uh, uh, you know, it's just uh, an honor to be mentioned in the same 
in the same breath with those groups uh, with the great work uh, that they're doing. And it's, it's great, gratifying to have um, a community in which we can have this wide range of nonprofit organizations mm -hmm. uh, and have the community come together and support all of them. Yeah. And I, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we appreciate all the work that you guys are doing for the community. Uh, unfortunately, we are running out of time, so we'll have to throw it to break, but we do got, wish you guys the best of luck uh, with this event and, of course, in the future as well. In the meantime, though, stick with us. We'll be right back on Up North at 4.